Get back in the car. What? I thought that we had to go Get in. Get back in the car. No, no, Dad, you were right. I, I, I need you. Damn it. You just do what I tell you to do. Why are you... You are the one that said that we had to come here. The boy you hit this morning is Jimmy Baxter's son. That's who you killed. Jimmy Baxter is the head of the most vicious crime family in the history of this city. Do you understand what that means? Whoever you are, wherever you are, you should know you will be found. Well, there, there, there must be a misunderstanding here. No! No. 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 The only misunderstanding is that you left my son to die alone in the gutter. What I can't understand is how anyone in their right mind could do such a thing. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, ah, oh, here's, here's what I know, Judge. I know your car was stolen the day after you killed my son. I know you deleted the gas station footage. I know you had the car crushed. So let's just skip your denying everything. Get to where I shoot you in the fucking head. No, 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 please. No, 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 Carlo! He's about to be arrested for the murder of Kofi Jones. Yes, yes, he's, he's, he's going to stand trial for murder. They, they've got video evidence and, 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 and DNA. And, no, no, and, and, I, I, I can make sure that, that his, his case is in my court. I can make sure that he walks out a free man. You know what losing a child gives you? Terrible, visceral pain, and overwhelming sense of failure. And then there's the, the surprising one. It's a kind of freedom. Nothing matters. Not ever again. So you're capable of anything. Anything. If you don't come through for Carlo, it would be the easiest thing in the world to cut your heart fucking heart out and feed it to the river. He's about as near to the perfect definition of a flight risk since El Chapo got cuffed. I agree. Go fuck yourself. Excuse me? Go fuck yourself. You know, I think it's good to get your feelings out, Mr. Baxter. Man to man and everything. But if you do it again, I will have you arrested for contempt of court. Do you understand me? Do you understand me, Mr. Baxter? What the fuck? I have to make this look legit. What the fuck? No one is going to question my integrity if I get this trial. If? If? I meant when I get this trial. When? It's okay. It, it, it's all right. We're, 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 we're fine now. It's okay. Do you know how hard this has been on me? <laughs> Every principle that I so have ever when lived When you by. left my son dying on the side of the road, you lost that. Principle. No. I can still make this work. How? You're out of time. Give me the answer to my question now. Desire will kill him. Carlo goes down for this, he'll never come out. And then you'll have two... You'll have two dead sons. 
partner, you need me. You can't do this without me. He was convicted of the assault, correct? Yes. By a jury? Yes. So they believed you? Yeah, they did. So it follows that Carlo and his mother were lying under oath. Objection. Speculation about what was in the mind of the jury. Mr. Baxter, you are a racist, a liar, and a thug. Objection! Miss McKee. Her Honor, Judge LeBlanc's words on sentencing Carlo Baxter. Objection overruled. Thank you, Mr. James. You didn't have to allow that. You could have told her she couldn't call him. But now my boy's a racist. She's tearing him apart no, you in don't there, know and what you're, you're letting talking him about. fucking happen! I'm watching my son heading for Do death row. Do you have Rome. any idea what a jury is looking oh, for in a judge on a case like this? Do you don't, have any idea? Don't, don't fuck with me. They want me to be their dad. I am giving them that. I am Gregory fucking Peck in there. They watch me stand up to Johnny Xander showboating, and they trust me more. They watch me allow in evidence that they really want to hear, and they love me for that. And all the while, I am making them feel secure. I am making them feel safe by telling them that I love them and that I am not frightened by anyone. I get them to look up to me, to take their cues from me, and then later, not now, not yet, but when it matters, I tell them what to think. They won't know what's happening. They won't ever see it happening, but it will happen. 12 of our peers will do exactly what I want them to do. My family's not losing another child. There's nothing I wouldn't do, nothing. So if you don't like it, I really don't give a fuck. And if there's trial fallout, well, that's your department, isn't it? Joey's a junkie. He'll just be stepping off a little early. We're not asking for your permission. We're telling you to set it up. go back into court, I will rule that the witness can testify. You? You have Johnny Xander ask for a recess until tomorrow to prepare for cross. It'd be a, a fair request, and I'll grant it. You'll have the night. How you get to him? Well, that's your department, isn't it? Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Alan? Thank you. Will the defendant please rise? In the case of GKL 14179, State of Louisiana against Carlo Baxter, on the single count of murder in the first degree, the jury finds the defendant not guilty. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your service. You are dismissed.
What? He's here. Who? He's having a little trouble breathing. Maybe he has his inhaler with him. Jimmy! Maybe he doesn't. Jesus Christ, listen to me. You want to watch what I do to your son? Baxter House Hotel. Jimmy! Come on over. Jimmy! When you saw me at the police station, what did you see? You were in a hallway with your wife. A detective was speaking to you. It, it looked like he had just told you what happened. Then you watched me lose my son. Yes. Mm. Did I react differently than you'd expect a man to react? No. And why did you choose to see me as a monster? I knew who you were. Maybe you wanted to walk out of that police station and just have it all go away. Perhaps I was your excuse. You would have killed my son. If someone comes from my family, I promise that whatever you've seen or heard about me would pale in comparison to what I'm actually capable of. But this was an accident. If you and Adam had come to me with honesty and contrition, how could I have responded with violence? He was just a boy. Adam ran because he was afraid. His fear was entirely forgivable. It was your fear that got him killed. Tomorrow's my birthday. 50th. There'll be a party over at my hotel. You should join us. And tonight, I want to recognize the newest addition to our family, Judge Michael Desiato. Now, come on, Judge. Welcome him, welcome him, come on. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Come on, cheer him on, please. Come on, come on. As most of you know, I became a grandfather this year. Yes, yes, I know, I know. <laughs> well, so too did Michael. Our lovely daughter, Sophia, and his late son, Adam, blessed us with new life and new family. I ask you to welcome him into your hearts tonight. Hmm? Give him a round of applause. Ah, Mayor Figaro, Judge Desiato, meet Carmine Conti, my father-in-law. Always a pleasure to meet the city's power brokers. I'm looking forward to the wonderful things we'll do together.
do you want with my family? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. And why get a job delivering meat to my hotel? Hmm? Come drinking at my bar, telling Carlo about Harry the Hook, and why do I keep seeing you around my children? Now remind me, they let you out of prison early because... Because... I wanted to kill myself. They didn't want my blood on their hands. But that shouldn't stop you. your friend Charlie. I had an arrangement with the previous administration, but he's considering backing out of it. I can't control that. Could be very, very dangerous for him. If I can't do this deal the way I wanted to, then other people are going to get involved, unfortunately. People like my father-in-law, which is the last thing I want, frankly. I'm concerned. For Charlie's safety. So, uh... Perhaps there's another option. Just let him know, please. Fia runs away from our family because of the reputation we have. And of all people, she turns to you. The man who was in prison only a few months ago. Maybe she's harder on you than she is on me. Of course, there were things that I've done that she doesn't know about. You could have told her, but you decided not to. Why? By the time we learned she was pregnant, she'd already been through so much. I want to protect her memory of Adam. By doing so, you also protected me. Thank you. I did it for her. But, uh, I am curious. You didn't tell her about the things I've done? I always had such a strong belief of right and wrong, and... I just don't want to be the judge about that anymore. I recently furloughed my right-hand man of 14 years. I find myself wanting for wisdom. Someone smart, educated, someone I can trust. Put my family's best interests ahead of his own. You think that could be you? What if the true test a family isn't loyalty, but sacrifice. 
if I join you, if I become part of your family, my fear, the sacrifices I would have to make, No one's putting a gun to your head. Sometimes there's a gun to your head and you don't even know it.